so I really didn't expect to do another video about this subject, but we have uncovered some big information, massive red signals, and we're gonna be pretty much focusing on the code this time, because what happened after the second video came out, the MYX crew started to move the call post and said, well, the contract is verified and there's nothing wrong with that. We don't care if the admin is a scammer. I, I, the, the proof to me was I made money the very first day, but I bought really early. You know, not everybody got the pricing that I got. I didn't get in at the pre-sale, but I was right after that and I doubled and tripled up right immediately. I could have been out of it and made triple my, uh, my ETH right off the bat. But I like the fact that it had staking. Most of these tokens that I buy and flip, bro, and I've made money, a lot of money on all these different tokens that I've flipped with Uniswap. All the money I lost was always on those damn casinos. Those casinos were the scams to me. To me, I made money with these tokens. Most of these tokens that I've bought now, I've, I'm five out of six that I've made money on them. With this one, it's gonna be the same thing because I got in early this time. Okay, so let's just do that in this video. We are still investigating who Spider is and we have a lot of people who have come forward who might maybe know his whereabouts and his identity and there will be some article updates about that. But let's talk about the code here uh, today. So anybody can do the same things I'm gonna be showing you in this video. So this is currently the MYX network um, page in Etherscan, which shows everything about the transactions that are going. And also in the contract page, you can read and write contracts. And that's what we're gonna be doing here first. And people have been citing, it's open source, the contract, you know? But this just means that the, that has been publicly posted here, okay? There is no audit, okay? The lit network audit is not here and lit really didn't do a very good audit. They just did a really quick one audit on it. It has not been audited, okay? Verified and audit, two different things. So what we're gonna be showing you first is that we're gonna be going into the pyro network address. So we're gonna be uh, finding the uh, actual um, pyro network token. And we're gonna click the contract and here we can see who created the contract, right? This is the address that created that contract. This is Spider's address, obviously, because he was the owner of that thing. We're gonna be copying his address. And what you can do in the actual contract, when you go to read contract, you can find info for every single address there is, okay? So when you do a query here, you can see that he has five million, five million, MYX in this account. <laughs> okay, this doesn't show up the the way that the contract makes it that this is the Let's just call it it's a bit of a stealth taking because it doesn't show you on the actual balances But you can draw uh, the numbers these decimals are obviously add uh, you can you know decimal people who know about bit about coding know that this is the the frozen amount, but this is not the only thing there is also another a place in this contract, which is called, um, let me find it, whitelist. What does the whitelist exactly do? Now, well, let's go read that, okay? I'm gonna be showing you people who are a bit more tech illiterate. And basically, there is lines for everything for the whitelist as mentioned here. And basically, let me find that here on the actual thing. Um, so basically, what the whitelist does once an address is added to that, uh, to the whitelist, actually here it is. So um, if the account is whitelisted, the burned amount, which means the tokens are gonna be zero. Meaning that whenever this address sends money uh, to the actual contract, withdraws from contract, sends to another address, there will be zero burn, okay? And what they did, was um, you can see which addresses have been whitelisted. Right now there is 10. You have to understand that only Spider Zero, the person who created the contract, can add whitelisted addresses. If this was a real DAO project, that would allow, it would have been coded the way that it can be transferred to any other person to write that whitelist. And obviously when we go into this as, uh, address here, it says true. So this has been whitelisted. That means 5 million of these tokens 
right now in the address are not having any fees on them. He is staking, he's getting all that staking reward, but he's not paying anything on the burns, okay? 0% on burns. On the other address, there's combined 33 million at least of MYX being not paying any divs. And at any point, as I said, Spider Zero can add new new addresses to the whitelist. He can make BitBoy, Wendio, whoever other scammers he has with him and make them whitelisted. So only the little people are going to be paying the fees and the privileged class are going to be just getting the dividends. They don't have to worry about any of fees and losing the NYX. Yep. You know, I care about the community. I'm a community man. You know, I care about the people. So that's a pretty big thing which they didn't disclose. And there's also lit protocol uh, smart contracts which were also whitelisted. And just to say for the final time, any address can be added here retroactively. Moving on, and this is not all, that's just the one big bomb. Analytics. So my video actually was posted on the 20th, that is the first video. Since then, the transactions have halved and since the second video, they have also gone down. And this is trend is likely going to be continuing, halving and halving and halving. Less transactions, less divs, obviously. So you can do the math here. Moving on. Super happy to be back and I'm really excited to discuss Mix Network because I'm also bullish on the project long term. We have the actual smart contract dashboard here on Bloxy, which gives some really nice information about the MYX smart contract. And here you can see how many times the whitelist was used. So there's 10 addresses there, as I said, how many unfreezes there has been, how many collections there have been, how many approves, freezes, burns and transfers. Here, you can also see uh, one other big problem of the contract. It's really badly written because it's not optimized. So as you can see here, this is the amount of transactions that have happened in the beginning, but it has gone down, which means less dividends. Why? Because when people are paying extreme amount in fees, that means the dividends are going to be going down. And this has been the case with the contract that in, when there's going to be a next congestion, People are going to be paying up to $20 or $40 to withdraw from the contract and it's going to be going up and up because the contract has been written in a such a fucking bad way. I'm actually going to be investing close to about $10,000 US dollars eventually, but I'm just, you know, just sliding in easily. And to move into the very final point, um, before we do that, here's the picture of the initial whitelisted address of uh, Spider Zero, this is the developer, and bunch of fucking addresses, millions being sent to a bunch of fucking people, and we are kind of looking into those connections there, uh, 170 million dumped into the Uniswap really for, <laughs> really fast on, also the uh, Spider Zero address that has 5 million MYX has been dumping as well, and everybody can confirm that I have given the all the Ethereum addresses down below. But here is the final ticking time bomb. This is the Hourglass contract. And the funny thing about this is it's not open source. It's not been verified. So it's all, you know, code. Line of, uh, what is this called? Syntax or I can't remember the name right now, but it doesn't matter. We don't know if inside, which by the way, there's a half a million dollars of MYX sealed into a contract that has, is not open. It's not open source. So practically, inside this contract, which is not open source, might be a rug pull. Yeah. It's so far as distribution, it's so far as transparency, integrity, all those things exist with Pyro Network, and that's my focus. So they can withdraw all the money from this goddamn fucking contract, all the half a million MYX, and dump it on the market. Nothing stops that. And this smart contract, the Hourglass contract, was released... Afterwards, understand, this was not audited by LID. They released Hourglass after the project was released. This is not part of the original smart contract of MYX. This is different. This is MYX stable. So you don't know what the hell is in this code. Okay? So, <laughs> there you have it, okay? <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, if you are not convinced by, at least after the second video, I don't know what to do. If you want to, and as we said, like, we are doing this for the sake of charity, okay? 
there's no paid incentives for us to do this. We're just trying to expose the people in the space and make sure that they will get locked up and the crypto industry, there will be no FUD by anti-crypto people saying it's all scam. We don't want investors to leave this space, but if people are going to be creating scams and projects which are not going to be delivering on anything, um, it's going to be bad for the market. Everybody is going to lose that on that on long term. And that will go, just give an ammunition to the legislatures to fuck over crypto. But that's my video. Stay tuned for more. See you soon. Tips here. But just don't, don't tip me MYX, okay? Don't send me fucking MYX. I don't want that fucking shit token on my fucking wallet. You can send me whatever if you want to for this uh, fucking work that I have done. Peace out, guys.